Charterman, 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 Two thumbs up. Hey! Hey! What's up, you guys? Short Prime here doing another TMNT figure review on the 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection. Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo. If you're trying to get your Classic Collection Ninja Turtles, you can get them at Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I did pick these figures up a bit late. I had to get the Revel Tech Turtles first. Those are amazing. But I like the packaging over here. It's similar to what we got with the original Classic Collection figures from the cartoon. Uh, you get these kind of sculpted in sewer covers right here all on the top of them and then there's like some ooze in the plastic right there dripping down just kind of hard to see and all four turtles have the same exact screenshots on the front of the packaging over here along with some screenshots on the side and then on the other side right there and then on the back of the packaging you can see the cartoon classic collection figures with the bebop and rock steady then on the back of the packaging they give you a little bit of history on the movie and the turtles themselves if you want to read this pause it now and that's enough of the packaging let's get to it and crack these things open now my general sentiment over these figures is that i'm happy to have them, but I am a bit disappointed as these are catered to the adult collectors and the average adult collector would probably be disappointed in these too as there's not a lot of paint detail on the figures and the sculpts are kind of goofy. I mean look at Donatello over there. That that just looks kind of strange. I'm not really happy with the Leonardo head sculpt. Uh, Raphael and Mikey are fine. Now I did do the whole bandana swap thing and I will show that off later. But for right now let's take a look at all the weapons, the body molds, and then we'll take a closer look at the faces of these turtles. Each of these figures come with their own sewer cover just like the classic collection figures from the cartoon and they're all painted with this wash over here that looks pretty nice they are not consistent uh, as you can see Michelangelo over here or Mike it says it has a lot more black paint on his than opposed to Raph uh, this one says Don and then the last one says Leo now the body molds for all four of these figures are the same uh, the only real difference between them all is that they have different straps over here on the bodies they have the same elbow pads and everything which look great I like the wrinkles and everything it looks like there's a little bit of stitching right there in the elbow I like the musculature it looks pretty good uh, the green color color isn't so bad and they all do have the same green color there's no variety of color between the turtles which is fine in the movie they all kind of have the same color going on you can see his fingernails pretty well in there I like that the shells look great I think the shells are sculpted very nicely let's see he has a little nick right there in his shell let's take a look at Donatello yeah he has the same exact nick right over there too so yeah not a big deal though and it looks like you could detach this if you want to all right that comes apart that's fine now this is a separate piece that you plug in there these are the sheaths for his katanas I like the detailed sculpt in these right over here that looks pretty nice and you can fit the katanas in there very well so that just goes right in goes all the way down to the bottom of it unfortunately the right elbow on just my Leonardo figure not on the other turtles has this little peg coming out of here which kind of sucks and I've heard people complain about the shoulders being too stiff on these figures I just took a hairdryer to all four of them trying to do the mask removal thing and that loosened these up so a hairdryer will work very well on these I like the color they chose for the front of the shell over here I think that looks pretty cool and I think the legs are sculpted very nicely too I like the musculature involved in these and I really like how these knee pads look again similar to the elbow pads these look pretty good nice buff calves over there as they had in the movie they all have peg holes at the bottom of their feet and oh yeah nice sculpted toes oh you can see the toenails mm -hmm. I really think the figure could have used some kind of a shadowing effect or some paint detailing you know to add some variety to this you know I think that would have been really cool uh, if you look at Rabbit Hammer's custom Raphael over here I think he did a great job repainting this figure and I think it looks spectacular man great work now I gotta say I'm not very pleased with the plastic choice for the blades right here same thing with Raphael's size. I don't like the color. It's like a whitish gray plastic and it's very bland looking and it doesn't look metallic at all to me. Then here's the hand. We already got some paint coming off. Then here's a look at Donatello's bow staff. Doesn't look too bad. I like the color variation right here between this little gripping part and then the rest of it. And then here's the torso strap for him and it's just the single going across right over there and I do like how there's this little nub right there inside that slot so that you can just put this in here. It stays securely and it doesn't just slip out. Nice wrinkle sculpted right over there. Now because of the size of the size, yeah, it's a tongue twister. Uh, it kind of goes up pretty high all the way up to his collarbone almost. But still, you know, it looks like you could still pose him around and stuff even though that they are there. Again, I'm not a fan of this plastic color over here, man. This is just so weak looking to me. 
I don't like this color. And all the turtles have this groove right there in their hands that are sculpted pretty nicely, and I like how you can, you know, hold them like that, so that's pretty cool. And lastly, Michelangelo with his unique belt over here, and then you can see it can holster the nunchucks, and these are made with a real chain, which I really like a lot. It could be a little tricky getting him to hold these, but it's not so bad, and I really like how they look. You can see some creases in there, making them look like they're wooden nunchucks. I like that. Of course, metal chain. That's always a win. Okay, so these head sculpts, man. Wow, I am very disappointed in these. I, I don't know what they're thinking when they're making these ones. What's really sad is that my favorite Marvel Legends sculptor is responsible for these, and it's just such a bummer. I really don't like being disappointed in them, but it looks like they had taken screenshots from the film and didn't really get like a general look going on for each of these. Like, for instance, I think this is the scene where Donatello spits the water, right? I think that's where he shoots the water out of his mouth. That's where they got that. This I did a screenshot and showed it on Facebook. This is when Shredder has him pinned to the ground with a spear in his throat, and that's the face that they used for Leonardo. The Mikey one I like. That's my favorite head sculpt out of all four of these. That one's fine. The Raphael, why is he smiling? Raphael's the biggest asshole out of the four of these, and you're making him smile. Uh, so I just think the choices for the references on these, just uh, I just think they're just bad choices. So I guess like for those particular screenshots, they got him down, especially because I was able to pinpoint where they're from. The only one I really have a problem with is Leonardo, though. The, the wrinkle in the center of his eyes does not match his nose. His eyes are literally off kilter over there, and that is bothersome. I'm just really not digging this head sculpt, and it sucks because that's my favorite turtle. The paint didn't come out too well either. You can see that not all of his teeth are painted. The bandana came out okay, though. It's made out of a softer pliable material. And then this face for Raphael, which, you know, kind of resembles how the old toys looked, but really, I mean, he's smiling. You, you gave Raphael the smiling face. Again, not a bad thing to say about this Mikey head sculpt. This is my favorite one by far. Uh, it's just, this is what I wanted from the rest of them. Something that was unique to the character and, you know, wasn't something that kind of stood out all weird, you know what I mean? I just thought this was a really good head sculpt. Here's the le second least favorite is Donatello. Now this extra line that's sculpted right there, that's not from me uh, removing the masks. That's just how the figure was. I think the eye wasn't really painted very well. Uh, just not really happy with this. Now I used one of these clear tools right over here that you get with your Hot Toys figures to try to pry these open as I was heating them up. You don't want to damage these. Uh, your fingernails will work too, but that could hurt possibly and you can scratch them. So the way you take these apart is, uh, you know, I started from the back and it comes, they all actually come off very easily once you get them off the first time. But what you want to do is you want to take off the, the head right here, the cap of the head anyway. There it goes. So I just did it with my nail. And then you can see that little section right there. And then you remove the actual mask right here. They all have their designated letters sculpted right in there. And then same thing with the little headpiece right there. So that part is going to stay together. This part you don't want to separate. You're going to keep these two together. And then now you have this section right over here all by itself. And you can see all that glue that was inside there. And then now doing the same thing to Donatello. Uh, let's see, we just peel this off. I guess we just go from the front. It comes off very easily. And then take that apart. And then take the Michelangelo piece. And now you can have a happier Michelangelo, which makes sense. I think that works better for Michelangelo. Putting this piece right over here. And now we have that on Mikey or, or Donatello. So now there's Donatello with a different face. Not looking too shabby. So the swap on these figures right here, this actually works out pretty well. But now what really bums me out over here is that these two don't swap out together very well at all. And it kind of sucks. So like I said, Raphael's comes off very easily. You know, after you've done this once already you just grab it by the bandana and then here's Leonardo with kind of uh no I try to push it down and it doesn't really stay so well and I have a gap right there then here's the one for Raphael um, there might be a different trick or something that I don't know about or some, or it might just be there's still a ton of glue inside there, but I like this facial expression for Raphael a lot. I think that works very well. Uh, this is an okay look for Leonardo, but god damn it. But yeah, I think this is kind of cool. So, you know, I actually ended up just deciding that these two will stay the way they arrived. I just put them back the way they were. I'm just going to have to deal with it. When I get this figure's head tilted downward, it doesn't look as bad. This one, uh, it's okay. Now just to make sure to run through all of our options over here, actually doesn't look so bad. No, you get a little bit of gappage on that one. And it's okay. It doesn't really work so well either. Uh, concerned Michelangelo is just not, yeah, that doesn't really work. So I guess this is the look that I'm going to go with. Uh, these two swapped out over here and these guys staying the same. Articulation on these figures are the same as the classic collection from the cartoon. Uh, it's on a ball peg right there. So you can look up, it can look down, rotate side to side, you get some head pivot. The shoulders move outward, you can rotate forward, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist move side 
side to side, and they do not hinge. You get individual finger articulation and thumb articulation. He has a diaphragm joint that rotates side to side a little bit. It does crunch forward and not really back so much because of the shell, and you do get some pivot action in there too. And then the hips move outward. Uh, it can kick forward a little bit. I feel like these legs got really loose fast right here at the hips. I don't really like that so much. He swivels right there at the hip, but he can swivel at the thigh as well, and that thigh swivel doesn't want to go because it's just used to swiveling up there. Uh, he has double jointed knees, ankles move down, up. He does have individual toe articulation and just a little bit of ankle pivot, just barely. Like I said, all four of these turtles are the same height and they stand at six and a half inches tall. And here's a cartoon classic version collection compared to the 1990 movie version and they're about the same height. This guy does look a little bulkier though. And here's the 1990 Leonardo compared to my two favorite Leonardo figures. We have the NECA Leonardo over here and the Revel Tech one. And you can see what I'm talking about, the pink color. Like, look at this. This NECA one has some nice silver paint on there. You got flat white. Same thing with the Revel Tech. You get some nice silver paint on there. Ooh, it's very reflectant and you just get the flat white. Then here he is compared to the TMNT cartoon movie Leonardo, which I still like that movie. I thought it was a pretty good movie. And a 2014 live action movie Leonardo. Good movie also. Leonardo party, yeah! Hey, who invited you? And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Even though I'm a little bummed out about the face sculpts, but like I said, I'm still happy to have him. I'm a sucker for him. What can I say? I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these figures and if you've done the mask swap or not. Subscribe if you haven't already and check out ToyNewsEye.com for a photo gallery of images and check out shardmasprime.net for my daily blog. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>